Today I'm going to be testing gold flakes, which is sold in small tubes on eBay for a few dollars each. I purchased some 24 karat gold flake tubes and now I'm going to test them. I have a gold acid tester. Now gold flakes is made from gold foil, which is extremely thin metal foil. And the gold foil is then crumpled up and it makes kind of nugget looking flakes and put in a vial. Now there's not very much there, they don't doesn't weigh much, but I was wondering is it real gold? So I have a, a gold testing stone here. You're supposed to rub the real gold on the gold testing stone and then test it with acid. The first acid we're going to try is a 14 karat gold. We're going to see if these gold flakes are 14 carats. Supposed to be 24 karat, but uh, a test will prove it whether it's 14k or 24k or less. So you take a, a real 14k sample of gold and you rub it on the stone. It's kind of a rough slate stone until you leave uh, gold scratch marks. Then you add the gold acid on top and see how long it takes to eat the sample away. This is a 14 karat, so the 14 karat gold is hardly affected at all, the real one. I use my plastic pen point here to kind of move the gold into the ass. Oh, look, it disappeared. It was eaten right up. And then the 14K sample is not being eaten. So now we'll try the 10 karat. Maybe it's less gold than 14K. We'll try the 10 karat gold. But the only sample that I had rubbed in the stone and it was eaten away, so I'll just try it on the loose foil. So let's put some 10 karat acid down here and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to move. I got the spot of acid there. I make sure the foil is covered by using my plastic pen. You can see the acid working at it and eating it up. <coughs> but it's not disappearing as quick as the 14k so there must be some sort of gold in here amazing so it should you know it should be eaten all up by now but there's some traces or maybe 10 percent maybe five percent is sticking around so let's uh let's use our 10 carat sample and see how fast it, the gold deteriorates in the acid compared to the 10 carat scratch marks so I, I moved some of the acid over there and we still got some gold flakes in there that, that, that are sticking around. Well, let's put a new flake in. We'll test that one. So you can see the acid is still eating, eating the stuff but it's not going really fast. So there's something in there. Maybe it's 5 karat gold. And the little traces that will be left in, in just a few seconds here they'll be 10 karat gold. Well 10 karat gold is less than half gold but it's still something so it looks to me like these gold flakes do contain maybe 10 10 percent 5 karat gold and maybe 5 percent of the 10 karat gold so there's a certain percentage of it is actual gold. You have a vial that has, has real gold in not a lot because these are really lightweight flakes but it is real gold and so it's worth a few bucks and because of the nature of gold we know it's not 18 karat or 14 karat but some of it is 10 karat because of how the prices are going up in gold lately it's worth something and it may even be worth more than uh, what they're selling on eBay and certainly in the near future it'll be worth more so these gold flakes, and I, you know, all of them are not necessarily real gold, but these ones have some 10 karat gold in, probably 5 karat. 